Welcome, everyone. In today's video, we'll be delving into the fascinating life and accomplishments of Juan Montague Trenchard, the first Viscount Trenchard, who played a pivotal role in the formation and development of the Royal Air Force. His visionary leadership and unwavering determination in the face of adversity earned him the title the father of the Royal Air Force. So without further ado, let's explore the incredible story of this trailblazing figure in military history. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating content. The indomitable spirit of Ha Montague Trenchard, 1st Viscount Trenchard, GCB, OM, GCVO, DSO, 3 February 1873, 10 February 1956, reverberates through the annals of British military history. A trailblazing figure, he was instrumental in forging and nurturing the Royal Air Force, RAF. His tenacity and forward-thinking approach, which faced substantial resistance from conventionalists, ultimately earned him the moniker the father of the Royal Air Force. Hailing from Taunton, Somerset, Trenchard's early years were spent in India, where his father, an Indian Army colonel, was stationed. Later, he returned to England and attended Wellington College, a distinguished public school. Although academics proved challenging, Trenchard was undaunted. He embarked on a military career, joining the Royal Scots Fusiliers as his second lieutenant in 1893. Subsequently, he transferred to the Royal Munster Fusiliers 2nd Battalion, serving valiantly in Sudan and South Africa during the Second Boer War. His bravery did not go unnoticed. Upon his return to Britain in 1912, Trenchard briefly served as his staff officer before acquiring his wings at the Central Flying School. Demonstrating exceptional aptitude as a pilot, he rapidly ascended the ranks and assumed command of the Royal Flying Corps, RFC, the British Army's air arm, in August 1915. Under Trenchard's stewardship, the RFC spearheaded significant advancements in aviation technology and tactics, which proved indispensable during World War I. Trenchard ardently advocated for strategic bombings targeting German cities and military installations, convinced that such measures would cripple the enemy's resolve. Post-war, Trenchard confronted the formidable challenge of amalgamating the RFC and the Royal Naval Air Service RNS, into a single autonomous entity, the Royal Air Force. Despite staunch opposition from the Army and Navy, he successfully persuaded the government to establish the RAF on 1 April 1918. As its inaugural chief of the air staff, Trenchard laid the groundwork for the world's premier independent air force. Trenchard passionately championed the professionalization of the RAF and the cultivation of its officers. In 1920, he founded the RAF College at Cranwell, the world's first Air Force Academy, offering a robust education and training program for future RAF leaders. He also spearheaded the creation of the RAF's apprenticeship scheme, which trained skilled aircraft technicians. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, Trenchard tirelessly advocated for the expansion and modernization of the RAF, positing that air power would be decisive in future conflicts. Although he retired from active service in 1930, Trenchard remained a formidable presence in public life, serving as commissioner of the Metropolitan Police from 1931 to 1935 and playing an integral role in reshaping the force. Furthermore, he was crucial in establishing the Air Defense Cadet Corps, the modern Air Training Corps' predecessor. Elevated to the peerage as Baron Trenchard in 1936 and later appointed Viscount Trenchard in 1950, he continued to fervently support the RAF until his passing in 1956. Trenchard's unwavering vision and perseverance continued to inspire generations of airmen and airwomen, who regard him as the founding father of their service. His enduring legacy is evident in the RAF's ongoing commitment to innovation, professionalism, and the pivotal role of air power in contemporary military strategy. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the life and achievements of Ha Montague Trenchard the first Viscount Trenchard. His unwavering vision and tenacity continue to inspire generations of airmen and airwomen, who view him as the founding father of their service. We hope you enjoyed learning about his remarkable contributions to military aviation and the Royal Air Force. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more compelling content. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.